Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome from my corner studio. So it's kind of a, just a, really just a corner of my studio apartment. This week, we're gonna spend a lot of time in my corner studio because I have a few things I'd like to take care of. I'm doing alphabet superset letter F, which I already sketched. Uh, and I'm gonna draw a finch and some ferns. And then I'd like to start um, designing new stickers. If you don't know, I have a little sticker shop that I opened back in the spring. It's very small and um, I want to add more stickers and do like a shop update probably early November. I'll post a link in the description. And then last but not least, uh, which actually we're gonna start with, is I don't know if you've seen this trend uh, I think it started on TikTok but I've seen it on YouTube of people painting ghosts on thrifted paintings and I thought it would be really fun to try it and make a shorts and I have this vintage postcards I think it's from 1909 or something of people on a lake and I thought that would be really fun to paint some ghosts on it and see how it turns out um yeah hopefully i don't ruin it so i got my postcard i'm using some white acrylic paint and then i have a little some black uh, acrylic gouache for the eyes and a really fine uh, brush So I painted this little ghost that's pretty much looking at the people on the boat or the boat the people in the boat are looking at the ghost rather and then I turn the people in the boat in the far distance as ghosts um, it's kind of like a little haunted lake I suppose yeah it's just kind of a fun little thing
So before I start working on designing new stickers, I uh, wanted to kind of do a little check-in. So last night I left off, I was finishing my drawing for alphabet superset letter F. I chose to draw a finch with some um, ferns in colored pencils. The finch I used a mix of black pen and black colored pencil. And yeah, that's something I'd like to do uh, going forward is teach myself how to draw a bird really, really well. Like have like a one, at least have one or two birds that I feel very proficient at drawing. And I might pick a raven because they're just kind of magical birds. And, um, and also maybe a finch or a starling. Anyway, that's something I'm going to do to work on, you know, as a self-taught artist. I like to teach myself new things all the time. Then I got a little distracted and I started drawing in my sketchbook. Still, I'm teaching myself how to draw uh, crystals. And then I started a page of sea urchins. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what I was up to last night. Um, as you saw, I finished also my um, thrifted painting ghost trend artwork if I could call it that I posted it online and it was well received on YouTube and someone suggested I should uh, paint some ghost fish coming out of the water which I think would be really fun but I'm, I don't think I'm going to do a part two I mean I could I don't know we'll see and yeah so let's uh, design some stickers I have a small very small sticker shop on my website. The link will be in the description below. And those are the stickers I am offering right now. And some are drawings that, this is a pen drawing, but then some of them were digital drawings I made, um, a cat illustration, hand lettering. This is something I still want to pursue, just haven't had any time really. Um, and this cute little, I might put this one on sale and kind of retire it because as you can see, it's so different from my style. Earlier this week, I started to put down some ideas for a new sticker and I wanted to do a HSP highly sensitive person related sticker. And so I thought I would draw a iceberg in colored pencils and then add the words, it's okay to feel deeply. Originally I was going to do, it's okay to feel things deeply, but I think it's okay to feel deeply works and it's less words because I don't want my sticker to be huge. I was looking at different composition, like maybe putting the words around a oval shape, uh, but I think I prefer to have the words kind of on top like that. So, and this hand lettering is inspired by some old hand lettering I found from that I designed maybe five or oh, maybe even 10 years ago. I was clearing out a drawer and I found those sheets of paper where I had hand lettered some phrases and quotes. And I love how quirky it is and, um, you know, sort of more soft, rounded letters. Um, I do love this piece I made earlier this year, but it's more squared, as you can see, except for the lovely, which obviously, because I wanted the lovely to be flowy. Um, yeah, so I wanted to kind of revive this unlettering style I came up with, yeah, you know, like I said, five or ten years ago, and add it to this sticker. And then another sticker I want to draw, I was thinking of doing a piece of coral, just because I'm obsessed with coral, I guess, right now. So I drew a lot of coral in this sketchbook, uh, in black and white, in red, and then I showed you in blue, somewhere in there, there you go. So I'm thinking of drawing a new piece of red coral, and maybe at some point I could also create a sticker with a black and white coral and even do like a sticker sheet or a sticker pack of different types of coral. I think that would be fun to do. But for now, I think I'm going to start with a red coral. And yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of that. 
So yeah, I guess I need to start drawing. So it's already Monday morning. I'm having a lot of coffee today because I stayed up way too late last night, actually until almost one in the morning. Um, I was finishing up on the sticker design, so I, I really wanted to order them as soon as possible because I know it will take at least five days to get to me. So I wanted to show you the rest of my process. So I drew the iceberg and the coral in colored pencils on paper and then I transferred them to my iPad and then I did so because I have to digitize everything obviously so I can send it to the manufacturer and then also I wanted to take out a little bit of the graininess that if that's a word <laughs> the colored pencils can be a little grainy sometimes so I want to take that out a little bit and then um, for the iceberg, I played around with my hand lettering for a long time and it wasn't coming up. I don't know this, I just didn't like the way it came up. So I ended up using a font that's called Hanley that I use a lot on Photoshop. I use it for my um, thumbnails on YouTube. So I ended up doing that. And I also, transferred the red coral to my iPad and I added a little bit of a pink border or background to give it a little bit more dimension instead of just being on white on a white background. Um, there will be a white outline which is the cut line that the manufacturer adds so they don't cut the design. And then the last sticker I worked on, I really wanted to make a sticker with the toad I drew, I think it's two weeks ago or something, to kind of make up for, or like replace, I would say, this version of a toad, which is more cartoony. Um, like I said, I'm going to probably put it on sale and kind of retire it. So it does, because it doesn't match my current aesthetics. So I just scanned it, took out the background, and there will be a little outline for the, as a cut line, like I said, for the manufacturer, but it's not like really wide or anything. And I think that should that might be my favorite actually. So I placed my order for the stickers already, 
and I got an email this morning saying that the stickers are in production and I should get them either Saturday or next Monday. So obviously I'll share that with you. Um, having an online store is really part of my strategy on how I will make money as an artist and I will make a video about that sometime in November. And um, yeah, in the meantime, let me know if you have any questions either about my process on how I make stickers or if, you, if there's any of my drawings that you'd like to see made as stickers. I'll have more products uh, like washi tape or prints um, in my store probably next year. I have tons of ideas on what I'd like to make, but not, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> in the meantime, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, and I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye!